What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you a status update on both the Ford and the BMW. So where are we, what's happening and what are, how are we going forward? Stay with us. Thank you for joining us and welcome to a status update of where we are on both of the cars. In this episode, I'm going to take you through where we are, what are our challenges and what are we doing going forward. So let's start with the Ford. Now the status update with the Ford is that I've had to put a halt on the work on this car and I will tell you why in a few minutes but where we are with this car is we are pretty much where we were at with the uh, last episode where we installed the suspension components and uh, from here really I need to get the uh, dash in and we need to get the rest of the stuff done I managed to find a set of brake lines that I had um, from a previous project I need to just check if these are going to work but potentially these can work However, I'll still take you through the process of making up your own brake lines. You can do that by uh, crimping them, having them made and crimped, or making them up with fittings. But uh, either way, that is the next step. From there, I need to put the dash in, and uh, we just need to get this car done, seats in. The biggest job of all, though, is to get the engine in, because it uh, didn't come with an engine. I had to buy one. But we're not really going to film that, because that's not the, uh, you know, the purpose of this build. It is a separate thing entirely. So that's where we are. I'm sorry, that, but uh, I've had to put this on hold, because there is something else happening on that side, which is chewing up all of my time. And again, I don't do this full time, I do this as a hobby with the goal to be able to do it full time in the future. But because I don't do it full time, I just don't have the time to just get to everything. It's a real challenge and uh, make everything work. So that's where we are with this. Um, I need to, like I say, get the dash in, get all the bits on, get it on its wheels, engine in, get it started. And then we've got to finish with the harnesses and pretty much get it uh, get it going so that we can start testing this thing and driving it um, because this car should be able to do a million miles that's the design of the car and then <laughs> yeah from there we'll optimize it a bit and see where we can go if you want to see some more of this kind of content please consider subscribing just click on the subscribe button hit the bell and you're good to go all right, so the BMW, where are we with this thing and what have we been doing? So if you follow my Instagram, uh, Instagram details below, then you will know that uh, I've been busy with quite an interesting project on this car. Now I'm gonna do it all in one big episode uh, because I wanna give you all of the info in one episode on what we did now. It's quite a lot that's been happening over the last few months. And uh, in all honesty, it really escalated. Very similar to the original M52 in this car. And I, we started off with a concept and uh, yeah, like anything, you know, um, as soon as you tear it open, you find problems and challenges. And then if you do it, you might as well do it properly. And so let me show you what I'm talking about. So this right here is an M54 Frankenstein that I've been busy with over the last few months. I uh, bought it as a uh, donor engine and with the goal to do like a bit of a heritage build throwback to the... Uh, touring car era in the in the 90s. It wasn't going to be an all-out mad S40 type build. It was going to be a build that is achievable. Um, so in other words, what power can we get and uh, how do you get there, you know, based off off of the shelf stuff. So no fancy forged stuff, no titanium valve springs, nothing. Just how can you make it um, and uh, make it uh, improve the performance but in an achievable way. So um, with that, um, the goal was this engine came out of an E36 anyway. So um, the engine mounts are similar, the gearbox is pretty much going to bolt up the old uh, uh, the 328i gearbox that is in this. We will use that 
and uh, clutch flywheel, all of that good stuff. However, there have been quite a few little challenges. Our biggest challenge in building the engine has been the pistons. Machining the pistons has been, it went through four different iterations of machining to get the clearances right and get everything properly done. And again, the con, you know, if, you, if you're so far down that line, if you're doing it, you must do it right. Otherwise, you spend all this effort, time, money, and the thing blows up, and then what are we doing? <laughs> There's no point. So uh, that was one of our biggest challenges. And as we're getting closer to getting this thing operational, now come a lot of the smaller challenges. Uh, for instance, I've got a broken off stud in the block that I only picked up now, and that holds the, uh, the alternator bracket on. Um, so that needs to be sorted out. Then and stupid things like this oil pressure temperature switch. It's a Bosch oil pressure temp switch. Uh, that needs a reducer to go into the oil filter housing. What are we doing for oil cooling? That's been a challenge. Um, we wanted to do a plenum type intake manifold um, with longer runners, but uh, we couldn't get material. That was also a massive delay. So ended up going for uh, throttle bodies, Toyota throttle bodies, modifying the intake manifold. Uh, finding ram tubes has been a challenge. Um, this fuel return line, I need to modify that now. Um, and so, so it goes on, the concertina effect of all of these changes just comes and bites you. Um, the exhaust, we've had to custom make a complete exhaust system. Um, and then after it was made, the guy made the back end out of the wrong diameter exhaust. So uh, this has got to go back in the car once it's uh, all together. Must go back to the exhaust shop, change the rear end uh, to the correct diameter, otherwise it just won't get, we won't get the performance out of it. Got a little uh, notes pad here and there's another note list. Anyway, so I've got to remove the broken bolt. There's a welch plug I need to install in the bottom because there's a tube. We're not going to use all of that stuff from the plastic tube, so I need to replace it with a welch plug. There's the reducer for the oil pump sensor carts are warming up outside. Um, and uh, power steering, got to figure out power steering, got to make it work with this block. Um, the alternative is to go to an electric power steering system. That is the easiest, uh, that comes off of VW Polo. Um, but there's a small modification we've got to do there. So that's where we are with this. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, because I don't do this full time, I just get caught with time and I just cannot get to everything. And the, the idea with this is that we're going to have a bit of fun with the car and get it to be a nice, light, nimble little car. The E36 is obviously not as light as the E30 chassis, however, it's still a nice driver's car. Um, it's obviously lighter than the E46, uh, so, but there's future development we're going to take into account. And I want to run this engine for a while and just have fun with it. Um, it's a 1.9 litre, so not even a 2 litre. I'll show you what we had to do on the sump, but you'll see all of this in the uh, build episode. And uh, I'm really excited for that episode, but it's a lot of footage, a lot of content. I've been at it for a few months already. And uh, some of the stuff um, i quite keen to sell on my website. I'm hopefully going to have that. I know I've been saying that for years. We're working on it in the background. It's another thing I'm working on. There's some cool stuff I want to be able to sell. So I've made an oil cooler bracket for the E36. I'm going to try to sell that as a kit. Wheel studs, um, oil cooler solution for these engines. Um, lots of little different things, but uh, ultimately that's where we are. Um, there's something else that's in the pipeline. I'm not really going to talk about that. There's another wor a project I need to get going, but I've got to get this forward out of the way first. But yeah, so that's been the big holdup. It's just really trying to get this thing out of the way. So the big priority I've had, I've stopped on the Ford to focus on this car get it out of the way so that we can uh, move on. I was really pushing to do the next race at Red Star. Um, that is the 10th of May. Today is the week before, but with these challenges, I just don't see it happening, unfortunately. So that's where we are with this build and with the two cars. And like I say, unfortunately, I don't do this full time, but 
we're pushing, we're going forward, and I want to say, thank everybody for your support and just in motivating me. And you know, we just got to keep pushing. It's a dream. If you don't live your life, what are we doing? And that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> It's been very stressful, <laughs> but we're just going to keep pushing. So thank you guys so much. When we had issues with the M52, uh, we, uh, you know, we just pushed through that. Now that M52, the original engine for this car, is living a good life. And I will do an update on that, but that car, that motor is phenomenal. Uh, what's happened there is we've put uh, N3 throttle bodies on it. It's made even more power, and I'm just super happy with it. So anyway... That's going to be a wrap. Thank you so much. And uh, please like, subscribe, comment, you know, just ask the questions. And uh, I'll see, uh, you know, what I can get to. And hopefully the video on this bad boy is going to be coming soon. So including in that video, I want to include the dyno of this. The first startup, we still have to modify the wiring loom for this. We're going to run the coils on the top. Super exciting. Uh, we're even thinking of running on an ethanol um, to get timing out of it. So pumped. Man, I'm so pumped. Uh, so, it, you know, it's, it's a good little engine. And um, there's some cool upgrades we're going to do to the car also, but that will be future content. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time. Ciao, bye.